All water contains salt, however fresh. And usually the amount of salt you bring in with irrigation every year is at least one ton of salt per hectare. If there is no natural drainage to the underground, to the aquifer, you would have to make an artificial system. In order to restore the salt balance of the soil. So it takes a long time for the salts to build up. The farmer yeah, is Concerns of today are that he needs a good crop yield and he cannot invest in saline, I mean, measures to conduct to protect against the salinity that will only work in 10 years' time. In Zealand, uh, most of the land at uh, which we are doing agriculture right now and what we're living is below sea level. That's causing seawater to try to come into the land all the time. An increase in sea level in the future will cause the saltwater intrusion to become more and more over time. When sand mining happens, usually people don't, don't really consider the impact on water, but it degrades the riverbeds um, and because of that the banks fallen so it changes the course of the river and sometimes when this is done close to uh, the point where rivers meet oceans there can be saline intrusion and once there is saline intrusion it's an issue that is not easily reversed. Let's say the city got too big which is a condition of many many cities around the world too big for their fresh water sources then they start pumping groundwater they do that, then the, the, the salty water from the, from the ocean can actually destroy the groundwater aquifer, destroy it in the sense of it becomes salty. As cities strain their freshwater supplies, they turn to either salty uh, groundwater, which can become brackish, or they can turn to the sea, which uh, involves desalination. And every time you turn to a saltier source, it takes more energy and investment to clean the water to make it drinkable and usable. So in that sense, the increase of demand for water is increasing the reliance on lower quality water sources that cost more to clean. 